Dweeba and the Desert Island. It's a hot summer's day and Booba is playing at the beach. He has found a beautiful shell and looks at it curiously. At first, Booba thinks it's a musical instrument and blows into it as hard as he can. But the shell lets out lots of soap bubbles. Booba is excited by this because he loves popping soap bubbles. <laughs> but soon, Booba gets bored and looks around for something else to do. A green glass bottle hidden in the sand attracts his attention. Booba can see a piece of paper rolled up inside the bottle. His eyes light up. He opens the bottle <laughs> and pulls out the piece of paper. It shows a picture of a tiny desert island. Booba takes a closer look and is surprised to see Lula on it. Is she by herself on the island? Worried, Booba rushes to find some binoculars. He looks through the binoculars out to sea, searching for the desert island. Where could it be? Suddenly, he spots Lula. She waves and seems to be calling for help. Booba knows he must do something. He can't leave Lula out there all alone. She's his friend. Booba rushes to find a boat and spots one at the pier. He's never ridden in a boat alone before and doesn't know if he'll be able to control it. But nothing will stop him from helping his friend. He unties the boat and bravely jumps aboard. The wind blows into the sail and whoop! Booba is on his way to the desert island. <laughs> Lula is excited to see Booba. He must have found the bottle and has come to rescue her. The sailboat lands on the shore and Booba jumps off onto the sand. What a beautiful island, thinks Booba. He looks around at all the palm trees with bright yellow bananas hanging from them. Lula can't wait to go home, but Booba has other ideas. What's the hurry? The island looks very inviting and he wants to stay for a while. And he's hungry for lunch. Booba uses the sail from the boat to make a hammock. Just time for lunch and a little nap, thinks Booba, and then they'll be on their way. Booba and Lula sit together in the hammock, make themselves comfortable and eat some bananas. Suddenly, they hear a noise and look to see that the boat is being washed out to sea. They quickly jump out of the hammock, but it's too late. The boat has already sailed away. Lula looks sad. Oh, she wanted to go home. But Booba doesn't seem to mind. He likes the island and the bananas. Lula thinks. She notices the bottle that Booba brought to the island and thinks she'll just have to send out another message. She draws a picture of herself and Booba on the island, places it back into the bottle and then throws it back out to sea. <laughs> Now, they just have to wait. Time for more bananas and more bananas and even more bananas. Suddenly, they hear a noise and look closer to see that Spike has arrived on his boat. <laughs> Spike jumps out and looks around at the beautiful island. He likes it here too. But Lula and Booba really do want to go home. But just like Booba, Spike is excited by the many bunches of bananas hanging from the palm trees. Bright, yellow, delicious smelling bananas. They're very tempting. Spike says he must have time for bananas. Lula and Booba realize they're going nowhere unless Spike eats the bananas and decide to play together while Spike enjoys the fruit. Booba plays on Spike's boat and throws a rope to Lula. They go water skiing. This is so much fun, think Booba and Lula. Woohoo! But soon, Lula falls off and doesn't want to play the game anymore. She's tired and really wants to go home. She wonders if Spike is ready to leave yet. Booba, noticing that Lula is no longer hanging onto the boat, gets distracted and doesn't look where he's going. 
the boat shoots out of the water and ends on top of a palm tree. Uh-oh, how will they get the boat down? It looks like all three of them are going to be stuck on the island now. How will they get home? Lula takes the bottle again and draws another message. A picture of all three of them stuck on the island. She places it back into the bottle and throws it into the sea. Surely somebody will find the message soon. Eventually, a little red aeroplane arrives, rushing to help them. Noodle is flying the plane and lands on the island to rescue them. Everyone is excited until Noodle spots all the palm trees with delicious bananas hanging from them. Booba realizes that they need to think of a plan or else they'll never get off the island. Everyone is too distracted by the delicious bananas. Booba takes some large banana bunches and ties them together to make a raft. Now the friends can leave the island and take the bananas with them. Noodle jumps into the airplane cockpit and throws down a rope. The friends tie the banana raft to it. As Noodle's airplane takes off, the raft starts merrily jumping on the waves. This is exciting, think the friends. It's just like being on a fairground ride. It's Yay! <laughs> Noodle flies around the island several times to excite his friends. They're having a great time. But he gets carried away and crashes into a banana tree. Noodle quickly escapes the plane. But this leaves them with a big problem. Now they're all stuck on the island. Once again, Lula draws a picture of all of them stuck on the island and places it in the bottle. She throws it out to sea, hoping that somebody might find it soon. And they don't have to wait for very long. Mr. Beak soon arrives in an inflatable boat, but he's very tired. He's had to paddle all the way to the island to save his friends. He gets out the boat and spots the hammock between the palm trees. Mm, just what he needs for a little sleep. Booba, Lula, Noodle and Spike decide to let him rest. After all, he's come to rescue them. They decide to play baseball for a while with a coconut that Booba finds on the sand. He uses one of the boat paddles to mark out the bases. This is going to be such a fun game. Lula is good at baseball and is excited to start. Booba is thrilled. He grips the oar tighter. He gets ready to hit the coconut thrown by Lula. <coughs> Woohoo! Booba hits the coconut. But the coconut is too strong for the paddle and it breaks. They have to make another one. Lula throws another coconut. Booba hits it with another paddle from Mr. Beak's boat. The second paddle breaks, just like the first one. <laughs> Booba is getting annoyed now. There's only one paddle left. If he breaks it too, they won't be able to sail off the island to go home. But Booba really wants to play. He grabs the paddle tighter and stands opposite Lula. She gets ready to throw the coconut. She throws it. Booba swings. Spike gets ready to catch. But Booba doesn't hit the coconut. He accidentally swings too hard and hits Spike instead of sending him flying into the dinghy. Uh-oh. Hedgehogs are spiky. And Spike accidentally bursts the rubber dinghy. The friends shriek, waking Mr. Beak on the hammock. He immediately jumps up in shock. What are they going to do now? But Lula knows what to do. She draws another picture of all of them, puts it in the bottle and sends it out to sea again. The friends all get into the hammock. The palm trees bend under their weight and they hear a creak. But they decide to ignore it. Suddenly, Genie Booba arrives on a surfboard. He goes ashore and looks at Booba and the others with a mischievous grin. He snaps his fingers. <laughs> Mr. Beak is surprised to see a brand new paddle in his wings. Finally, they can leave the island. But unexpectedly, the palm trees ping up and Booba and his friends are thrown up into the air. <laughs> thrown all the way back home. Hooray! 
Yay! They are rescued! Meanwhile, Genie Booba is in no hurry to leave the island. He's excited to see the bananas too! And he can have them all to himself as a reward for saving his friends. Genie Booba climbs into the hammock, peels a banana and gets ready to relax. But what's this? A cruise ship? With hundreds of tourist teddy bears, rush over to the genie. Each of them is eager to hug Genie Booba and take a picture with him. This isn't the peace and quiet the Genie Booba was looking for. Oh dear, 